So thank you very much for coming today. I'm going to hand you over to uh, a local boy that I think most of you know, um, local boy uh, made good. Uh, Congressman Kevin McCarthy, who's also the um, uh, majority whip in the US Congress, is going to uh, say a few words. Kevin. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. I tell you, today it's unique that i um, able to be here. When Tim called me, I wanted to make sure I was able to come out here, because this is a few things that uh, are making history. First and foremost, this is the first in the world. Secondly, it's not done with any government money. It's all private ingenuity. The other thing that happened, too, this is theory being applied to actually showing it can work. And where we are applying it, in the fields of Kern County, that we've been producing oil for more than a century. So all the easy oil has been brought up. This is where it really takes the next generation. Well, what's interesting today was a couple weeks ago, the president invited me down to the White House for a lunch. And so we had this little room off the uh, Oval Office. And it was the president, um, the speaker, Boehner, Cantor, myself, and the vice president and his new chief of staff, Daly. And we got into the discussion of energy and becoming energy independent. And first, I didn't think, if you ever had me, a teacher ever had me, thought I would never be in this place, and I thought I'd never be in there able to debate the president. But we were debating about the way to become energy independent. And one of the arguments I always had was, you cannot, as we bridge this gap to the next phase of energy, you cannot punish one energy for the benefit of the other. That the only way we're able to get there is pretty much all the above. And today is showing the example of that that you can have a next generation enhancing a current generation that you have to be able to supply more. Because we cannot bridge that gap overnight. And we cannot bridge that gap without making America become independent in, the, in its own right. So as we discussed this and went further, he came back to me and says, well, how much energy you got in, in Bakersfield? Because he remembered Bakersfield. And he told me the story that the one time he did come to Bakersfield, he was at college in Occidental. And he said, uh, I was going to go visit a friend in San Francisco. And so I didn't really have a nice car, so I, I I borrowed a buddy's car, and we got down that grapevine, and when I got to the bottom, I got a flat tire. And the guy didn't have a spare tire, so I went into Bakersfield. He said, they're very nice, but I had no money, so I got no tire, so I hitchhiked. And <laughs> so I had invited him back sometime to see the next phases of energy. I showed him where Kern County produces 72% of all the oil in California, but we also have solar in Mojave. We have wind. We have geothermal. And you go to the end of the district, you have nuclear. This is really the melting pot of energy for America. And we are showing again, worldwide, how we're enhancing the next generation and doing it all together to make us stronger. And what's interesting to me of how we did it, we didn't have to go worldwide to find the companies to do it. From Barry Petroleum, being the largest independent, to TJ Cross, to PCL. These are local people that took the ingenuity to be actually put us on a next track of even further. Now, I know this is maybe a smaller project, but you look, you did it in six weeks. You proved it can work. You look at the rendering to even go four acres. This is just the beginning where we're not going to be able to stop. And what I think is happening is you're looking at Kern County, the next century and the next growth, that we're helping the country one more time lead the way to become energy independent. So thank you and God bless.